Okay, today we are working on, it's a 2008 164. We have a key and the remote didn't work and they wanted another key. Now, this is a 2008 GL. And if you go through the Abritus um, chart, you'll see where it doesn't allow us to do that. Okay, now we're able to read all of this and all of that good stuff. And if you notice, we're hooked up, we have a gateway. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try and read the password and we're gonna try and do it with, okay. So it's telling us, it's going to tell us, insert the IR. Sorry, kind of hard to do this when you're, and watch what it says, unsupported version. Now, for those of you who don't know, 2006, 2007, 2008, six, 164s are not covered. And the reason is, is inside of this little doohickey is an NEC chipset. If you open it up, it'll say something like Amazonian or some South American city or something on the chip but we're lucky enough to where we have a key that was actually a version 57 cool huh so what we're gonna do we are going to disconnect our IR and we have our handy dandy I don't even know what the hell you call this thing. It's the clamshell for the chip. So we haven't even tested this, so we're going to give it a try. So now we're going to get EZS password, and we're going to use Abprog and the key MCU. It says to solder it, but I'm lazy. It says it's checking the MCU of the key. Can't read MCU. Maybe we got it in there wrong. We'll try it again. Okay, couldn't read the MCU of the key. Can't read password. Yeah, it's kind of hard when you can't read it. So, um, what we did, we took the NEC chip out of the key, actually the key reader, chip reader, and we spun it around. So now, we're going to try get easy pass again, Abprog and the key MCU. And you notice, it says version 57. That's the only one you can use. Okay, checking the MCU of the key. Can't read the MCU. Great. Okay, welcome to Fun with the Britus. Mercedes-Benz NEC key. We have the adapter, which says revision 3.0 on it. We have that hooked up to our ABPROG and to our AVDI. And... When we read the key, look, key is not blank. It gives us the SSID, the usage, and everything. Cool. Hey, watch this, though. So when we close out of this, and we go to Mercedes, guess what? So you open up DAS Manager. We have a 164 on the bench, plugged in. It's 2008, and we cannot read it with the IR key. So watch this, though. Go to EIS, easy -S, and read it. Boom, look at that. So now we're going to try and read the password. Now, once again, I haven't changed anything. I have the Abprog hooked up that just read this chip. Watch what happens. We click on Abprog and Key MCU. Yes, it is a ROM version 57, but it says PCB version 4. I don't have a version 4. Oh my gosh, it won't read the key. Oh man. All right, Abritus, what's going on? What's the difference between version 3? version three and version four 
of this adapter board. Okay, we are back here at the W164GL2008 Mercedes, and we have swapped out version 3 for version 4. Those Bulgarians don't want you to just do it clip and go. They want you to actually solder the darn thing. So, we are going to read our data from the EIS, and we're going to click on Get Easy Password, and we're going to use Abprog and Key MCU. Now, big thing, solder the microcontroller of the working key to the PCB version 4. That's a big deal, I guess. you got to have version 4. So, now we're checking the MCU of the key. What's it going to do? Dun, da, da, da. I don't know what the hell it's doing. Up on the top it says not responding, so it's deep in thought. It's reading the darn thing. You can see the wheel just a spinning away. I call it the wheel. I don't know what the hell it is. Hopefully it's not frying the... Uh, the chip of the uh, key. Actually, I read it with another another reader, so I knew it was a decent chip. But what's it gonna do? Not responding. Oh, we got a thoroughly pissed off unit here. Oh, look at that! Whenever it says not responding, it's deep in thought. Okay, so the key password was extracted from the MCU. Woohoo, we're golden. Okay, so now we can program or emulate a key. You know, I kind of wonder if we pop that board out. Well, I'm going to grab the IR key and come back in a minute. Okay, we are back at the bench with our 164. We made a key, um, and actually, we put the customer's key back together so they have a key that starts the car but the remote doesn't work so um i did the cardinal sin if you go back in this video and look at when i read the data from the eis you'll see it had two keys programmed well on these you don't have to have a key you can put any key it doesn't have to be programmed and you can turn the eis so I just wanted to make sure that we actually had a key that was programmed in. So now we click on EZS EIS and when we read it, you'll see that we have three keys in there. And I know I broke the cardinal rule. Do not go to the next spot because the next time this vehicle goes to the dealer and they make a key, they're going to give them key three and it's going to fight the key that we made. If that happens, hopefully I'll be somewhere else. Um, and if you notice, see how it says remaining ignitions, 196, 600. Basically, I put it in there and turned it about five to 10 times and it lowered it down to that. So, so just so you know, we can do the W164, the NEC, as long as you have a customer's key that has a version 57 chip in it. Good luck and we'll see you on the next one.